So nobody really talks about backpack in Tarka, but it's kind of really important because once you guys wear backpack, there's some penalties for movement speed or turning or ergo, for example, and it depending on the size of the backpack as well. And so what you guys need to understand is that there are some backpacks that actually is really, really good. For example, if you talk about, you know, size 20 backpack right here, Wartech is where it's at because it does not have any penalties for movement or turning. And it only has penalties for minus 2% for Ergo, for example, in this scenario. And look at Pillbox, right? Look at the movement speed, minus 3%, and then turning is minus 1, and Ergo is minus 4. And so in total penalty, it has 8% of, you know, bad penalties. Meanwhile, Wartech only has 2%, right? And so this is really important what you guys need to learn. And so what are we waiting for? Let's get this started. Friendly reminder, um, if you guys press ZZ, you guys can actually drop your backpack. And so if there is some case scenario where you know you're going to fight the enemy, then just go ahead and drop your backpack, right? Because the heavier the backpack as well, your slower movement speed, ergo and stuff like that. And so I really recommend you guys just pressing double tap Z. Drop your backpack and fight and then pick it up again, right? That would be the best case scenario. But worst case scenario, there's going to be a sniper sniping you. And then thank you because now you're wearing pillbox, for example. And then you have minus three movement speed when you could have wear something like Wartech where it does not have any movement speed penalties at all, right? So uh, this is some knowledge that you guys need to understand is that pillbox is a no-no, right? The total penalty is eight, right? And then minus three of movement speed, minus one from turning, and then minus four from ergo, right? And so the best choice from 20 size will be Wartech right here. It has no penalties on turning or movement, and it only has penalties from ergo. And so, yeah, I really recommend you guys buying this. You guys can actually buy it from Ragman. Let's see what level though. I think it's level three. Let me double check. No, it's not level three. Um, it's level 2. So Ragman level 2, you guys can actually buy it from Ragman. Keep in mind, if you guys do filter by item, it says like 3 right here. And so it's really confusing. So Tarka, please fix that. It's been like this for almost like 5 years. I'm pretty sure it was like this long time ago as well, I believe. And then you guys can also buy it from Flea Market. But at the same time, it's going to be gone really, really fast. And yeah, um, it's going to be 24k from Ragman. So yeah, once you guys hit level 2 from Ragman, you guys can buy it from him or you guys can buy it in flea market but it's just very very competitive okay so number one for size 20 guys would be work tech let's look at scab backpack right you guys love getting scab backpacks from scabs and then look at the penalties of this though is that movement minus two percent and then ergo minus three which gives us five percent of total penalty and then we have the black backpack right here which is lbt 8005a and it's about 18k in the market and then 22k for scab backpack by the way and then movement speed for this one is minus one minus one for turning and then minus two for ergo so it's only four right there meanwhile this is five for scab backpack so i would say number one would be war tech and then number two would be this black backpack and then the third would be scab backpack what are the odds that billbox is just the worst case scenario here it looks really nice backpack looking but scab backpack is actually just better all right, and then let's go down and then let's talk about 24 slots. We have takedown black and white right here. The white ones are actually cheaper in flea market. So if you guys want to buy the white ones, go for it. Um, downside is don't wear this at nighttime, right? Because it's very, very bright. You're basically giving away your position. So at nighttime, you guys can wear something like black, for example. And same thing with um, up here. You guys can wear LBT 8005A for nighttime runs if you want. And then daytimes, it doesn't matter, right? And then you guys can just wear that and then just get that minus 2% for Ergo for Wartech. Next, let's talk about the 25 slots right here. We have Dragon Egg. Um, sad part about this one is unstackable, but then the penalty is not bad. Um, movement speed is minus one, turning is minus one, and Ergo is minus one. But even the better backpack would be Grupa right here, guys. It's 32K from Ragman if you guys unlock it, and then 40K from the flea market. And the, the look at the penalties, it only has minus 1% and minus 1% for Ergo and movement speed. So total 2% in um, penalties. And then we have Drawbridge, which is literally same size on everything. Literally, it looks like it's basically the same thing. And then, it, but then the penalty is just worse than the Grupa, which is minus 2% on movement and then 2% on Ergo. And then we have LBT 1476, which is 45K, which is kind of expensive. 
Uh, but then movement speed is minus one and then the ergo is 2%. So this is what it looks like for Grupa. And then this is what it looks like for Drawbridge. And then this is another color for Grupa. You can get a multicam if you want. And then this is the LBT. And so yeah, once again, they are stackable. Um, very convenient so if you guys do happen to start buying these backpacks now you guys can stack like this for example and then the lbt you know it is smaller and then the size is literally the same um but in the end gruba is just where it's at because it's the cheapest and right now it's only 30k in the market so here once again instead of 40k i can just put like 31k and so clear winner right here is going to be just Grupa. Um, this one we're not even going to talk about because we just already will know that Grupa is just where it's at. It has the least penalty right here. Meanwhile, this one also has 112, which has 4% of penalties. So what we learned so far is Wartech is where it's at for 20 slots. And then Grupa is where it's at for 25 slots. Next, let's talk about 30 slots right here. So we have Beta, Tricep, Eberle, Stock F5, and then Grupa 99. And so if you guys see the least um, penalties, it was going to be group of 99, uh, which is 212 of uh, movement speed and then turning and then ergo. But keep in mind, it's going to be the most expensive one out there. And the flea market, um, the traders doesn't even sell it. You have to actually sell it, buy it from the flea market. And it's around 80K right now in the market. But um, if you do want to save some little more money, then air burless stock is where it's at. It's 60k right now in flea market and then the penalty will be 313 um, which is total of seven uh, penalties right there and then if you look at beta look at this it actually has minus six for ergo minus two for movement and then minus three for turning and so in total you're actually losing minus 11 percent of penalties in total and then tries it will be 314 which is eight in total right there and so yeah um my personal preference would be Eberle stock F5 is where it's at right now. Um, 60k is not bad. So 30 slots, we learned that Eberle stock is just where it's at, right? Gold medalist. And then Grupa is where it's at, gold medalist right here. And then we learned that Wartech is gold medalist on 20 slots. So 20 slots once again is Wartech. 25 is going to be Grupa. And then 30 slots is going to be Eberle stock F5. And then the best part about this backpack is that they are also stackable. And then now we have 32, 35, 36. Um, Oakley mech is actually not bad. If you guys think about it, 6%, you know, comparing with 7%. 6 is better than 7, right? And then the penalty for that is only minus 2% movement speed and then 1% for turning and then three for ergo only downside is like you can't stack this backpack one with another like if you guys look at the backpack inside it's not pretty looking but if you're only there for you know looting and stuff like that it's not too bad as well um i think mech is also a really good choice um the best part is that usually people don't take it because you know they can't stack it anyway so what's the point and so that's why they just leave it there and so you guys can also insure it and then get it back hopefully by insure fraud and then yeah in the flea market it's gonna be 67k ish and then it's also 67k from regman if you guys happen to unlock the chain okay then now we have 3v um right here and then it's 35 slots um 315 that's the penalty right there so nine in total and it's 70k in the market and so yeah it's up to you guys if you guys want to get it and then lastly, we have Sato Bridger. We have minus 5% movement speed. This is gonna be a very heavy one. I pretty much recommend not getting it unless you know, you're know you in a map of small locations. But if you're traveling a lot, for example, like Lighthouse or you know big maps like Shoreline, then maybe this backpack is not where it's at because you're gonna run a lot there and it's gonna get even heavier, right? It has 36 slots. And if you fill that up, that minus five can easily get it up to like, you know, minus 20%, for example, and you're gonna just slow down even more and more in the game. Hopefully you guys learned something throughout this video is that even for myself, is that Wartech is just where it's at. He has the least penalty right there. Grupa would be the next option for 25 slots. 30 slots will be Eberle stuck F5. And then after that, you do you, man. If you guys want to use something else, go for it. But 
What we learned for sure in this video was that those three things are the most important backpack because it gives you guys the least penalties. All right. Alrighty. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao for now.